cellular components of blood these cells are classified into three groups erythrocytes leukocytes and platelets erythrocytes these are otherwise called as red blood cells or rbc there are about 4.5 to 5.5 into 10 to the power of 9 cells per ml of blood number of rbc is more in children than in adults each rbc is circular or biconcave in shape immature rbc have all the cell organelles after maturation organelles disappear and mature rbc have own plasma membrane and cytoplasm life and death of rbcs in adults rbcs are produced in the marrow of long bones especially in the ribs and breast bone in an embryo they are produced in liver and spleen the average life of an rbc is about 120 days the old and weak red cells are destroyed in the spleen liver and bone marrow their iron part is retained in the liver while the rest is excreted as a bile pigment that is bilirubin in a normal adult approximately 20 million rbcs are destroyed per minute and the same number of new rbc are added to the blood RBC have a respiratory pigment called hemoglobin in their cytoplasm. The red color of RBC is due to the hemoglobin. It is made up of a protein, globin, iron heme and an organic molecule called porphyrin. Hemoglobin takes part in the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. These are otherwise called white blood corpuscles WBC. They do not have the pigment hemoglobin, hence are colorless. They are less numerous than the RBC. They are about 5 to 9 into 10 to the power of 6 WBC per ml of blood. Lifespan of WBC is 12 to 13 days. New WBC are formed in the lymph nodes, spleen and thymus. White blood corpuscles move like amoeba and feed on the foreign germs that enter the body. So, white blood cells are also called as phagocytes. There are two types of white blood corpuscles. There are two types of white blood corpuscles granulates and agranulates granulocytes cytoplasm contains different types of granules and the nucleus is irregular in shape and has many lobes different types of granulocytes are neutrophils eosinophils or eosinophils and basophils neutrophils Nucleus in these cells has 5 to 6 lobes. They kill the bacteria in their cytoplasm. So, they are called body's first line of defense against bacterial infections. Neutrophils. Compared to other white blood corpuscles, they are large in number. Eosinophils or acidophils. Nucleus has two lobes connected by a bridge. Cytoplasm of these cells has large size granules. Eosinophils count increases in allergies and in certain infections. Basophils. Nucleus of these cells is elongated and is in the shape of letter S. Granules in cytoplasm are round large and few in number these 
cells are phagocytic in nature and play a part in healing process. A granulocytes. Cytoplasm without granules, a single large nucleus. Lymphocytes and monocytes. Lymphocytes. These cells have a thin layer of cytoplasm and a round large nucleus. These cells protect the body against viral and fungal infections. In the disease AIDS, these cells are weakened and destroyed by AIDS virus. As a result, the person loses resistance to other diseases. Monocytes, they are the biggest of all white blood corpuscles. The nucleus of these cells is kidney shaped. These cells help in removing dead bacteria, dead cells and other foreign material present in infected area. Their number increases in leukemia, that is blood cancer. Blood platelets or thrombocytes. These are minute oval or round or biconvex in shape. Platelets do not have nucleus but have cytoplasm. These are about 200,000 to 400,000 per cubic millimeter of blood. These are derived from some Jain cells in the red bone marrow. Function of blood platelets. Clotting of blood. When Blood vessel is injured, the platelets collect at the site of the injury and form a plug. They release a chemical substance, thrombokinase, which initiates process of clotting.